Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Final Fantasy VII Play Arts Volume 1 Action Figure. This is Tifa Lockhart. So if you remember Final Fantasy VII, this is a fairly old figure. I don't know when this is made, but this is Tifa Lockhart if you remember her from Final Fantasy VII. And it's different from Advent Children because it's a bigger line, it's an older line. There it is, Final Fantasy VII Play Arts Volume 1 Action Figure. And if I can see the you know when it was done that's the front of the box of red burst side of the box over here Tifa Lockhart number two so she's second in the series so if you remember the Hardy Daytona 2005 so it's definitely an older figure so if you remember that I'm going to tell you this it definitely shows its age so yeah, that's about it not much of a box it's black what can I say let's like uh, look at the figure it does come with a stand but you know, she really don't need it she stands all right yeah I'll show you that later Stand comes in two pieces and really, really, really need that. Made in China, yada, yada, yada. So uh, if you wanted to clip her on here, you certainly can, but I'm not going to do that. All right, let's go ahead and look at Tifa. Uh, I do like the detail in it they put on her face. Really nice detailing over here. You can see the brown streaks over here in the back of her ponytail as well. And the little brown streaks, a uh, big, huge uh, mane or whatever you want to call it dark mane that she has her I would say brown eyes but they pink lipstick they did pretty good detailing on her so it's not too bad like the detailing on the fist a little also her little gauntlet looking thing or whatever that is on her elbow it does have the suspenders although mine's kind of ripped apart but that's all right they're painted on over here and they kind of hook up to her little micro skirt over here and as you can see the belt's a darker color. This is actually a darker brown color, almost black. And it's a more not silvery color or whatever it would like to do. Belly button clearly visible. Let's see what other things. I mean it's a good amount of detail for what it is. So the joints look good. And let's go ahead while I have it over here. Show you the articulation. That's it for the boot. I'd imagine it would have a swivel but it just goes around right at the sock. Knee is double jointed, and my goodness, these knees are stiff. Uh, the hip does ha have a ball joint, uh, no thigh swivel, but it's of course limited by the skirt. I imagine if you wanted to take that off, ball jointed, shoulder joint over here, so good range of movement there. Only a single joint at the elbow, the wrist just moves around, and that's it. There is a little bit of a uh, ab crunch, and I don't think there is a waist swivel. I'm trying. See what it thinks. Neck is kind of a weird ball joint, and makes her kind of look kind of gap issues over here. So I don't know. It's not as good as a uh, as I used to remember it. And it does come with extra pair of hand, as you can see. Her left hand is bandaged, so you got the open hands, and that's it. That's all you get with the package. Two pairs of hands, which are really well sculpted. Alright, well it's not bad. Uh, figure it hasn't sold me. Slack of articulation is disappointing. And it is kind of short for back in the day, seven and a quarters, I seven and a quarter inches. So I guess I'll you know I can do that. It has earrings as well. So a good amount of detailing and it's a starting point for these guys of you know uh, the Square Enix products, I forgot uh, play arts. You gotta start somewhere. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just set her over here. Maybe the stand was kind of necessary. But, there we go. Let me compare her with Chun Li just to give you a size comparison. Notice how Chun Li just towers over her. I mean, she's only like seven and a quarter inches tall. So, Chun Li's uh, about eight and a half. Anyhow, I'll give her a six and a half out of ten. I mean, it's a start. What can I say? That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.